to the latest statistics, about one billion people um, around the world are chronically undernourished. Our question today is how should we respond to global poverty and hunger? It's a very, um, I mean, it's a topic that's been asked and, and debated for, for many, and a lot of people try to, you know, react or respond, or you have relief agencies or government uh, aids at hand, but how can we um, uh, address this issue? And there's three areas that I'd like us to focus. Mm -hmm. It's through compassion, through acting, and through providing hope. And so mm -hmm. the first one, how do we provide or how do we serve through compassion? Well, you just said it, compassion. And our God is a compassionate God, the God of love, the God of help in times of need. So since his people are in desperate need, we have to imitate what God is and what God wants. So, for example, the story of the Good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. the Good Sam there were two before the Good Samaritan when they were passing in that road. They didn't have compassion. But... The third one, the Good Samaritan, we know what he did. He was loving, he was compassionate, and he did it. Uh, he, no, he didn't say just by word, may the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. No, he did something. He acted. And he acted, mm -hmm. and that action was the will of God, the heart of God, the mind of God. And that's what God is teaching us in his Bible. And what, what does helping or serving the poor um, or going to stre stretch a hand out, how is that related to serving God? But what does that, what does one have to do with the other? Good. God is a compassionate God. And God came and demonstrated his love through his son in those three years and a half, whether serving the poor, feeding, washing their feet, going to the cross. But then he, after training his uh, people, his group or his disciple, his team, mm -hmm. then he rose and he went back to heaven. Mm -hmm. Now he said, now I want you to go and to do what I did, like what I did. And that's what now we are supposed. Uh, he gave us the teaching. He gave us the plan. Now we have to follow Jesus mm -hmm. and to do exactly what he did. Why? Because that is the reason he wants us to share mm -hmm. what we have, mm -hmm. to have, to be merciful, mm -hmm. to be helping mm -hmm. and not selfish. I mean, okay, so poverty's reach is so, it's, it's not only widespread, but it's so devastating. You turn on the TV, I mean, it's all over the media. Any, there's so many opportunities, um, but it's a fact. And, and if we mm -hmm. look at the statistics and we forecast what's coming, mm -hmm. we should be positioning ourselves to uh, stand in the gap a more, uh, a, a more wider growing gap mm. in this area, but we don't. We're so indifferent to it. It says here, every day 26,000 young children die due to poverty, hunger, and preventable diseases. I'm sure a lot of that is in third world countries. The fact is it's happening. So if it's happening and it's growing, why are we, whether it's in the West or it doesn't matter, why are we so indifferent? Why are we so callous? Why aren't we uh, so eager to move mm -hmm. and make a difference? Well, uh, the only answer I would say here is selfishness and living in sin. That's the only thing. That's if blinded us? Yes, because mm -hmm. living in sin, it's a blind. Nobody, uh, he is like spiritually awakened and he lives in sin. Mm -hmm. But the main thing, as I said, is selfishness. Mm -hmm. Selfishness, like I don't care about others. I only care about myself, mm -hmm. okay? If I have one million, I will work hard to make two millions. But is that, is that because of the society we live in? I mean, isn't that, does it, no. isn't it this society the pressure from, that conforms us? From the two sons of Adam and Eve, since there, there was selfishness mm -hmm. and uh, um, all the, the consequences of sin started from there and now we are reaping the consequences of what happened in the Garden of Eden. Do you think if more of us were exposed directly, let's say we, we traveled abroad or we saw it face to face, mm. I know it's happening in Metro Detroit and you know in, in our own backyard, but if we faced it, 
Right. Do you think that we would still be numb to it, numb to help, or do you think that that would maybe soften us to try to find solutions and, and partner with people who have the right solutions for, for those It will people? soften us, maybe. It will soften us temporarily. Mm -hmm. But the real softening is by accepting God himself, his spirit, to change us 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. Unless I am a new creation, I won't be able to do one centimeter mm -hmm. for God. Okay. And do you think that there are any consequences of ignoring the plight of the poor? Do you think that there, or is it, this is the life that I was born into? Mm -hmm. This is, I'm almost victim, victimized in this society. And so, you know, if I were born into that society or if mm -hmm. I were born into that sort of a lifestyle, mm -hmm. I would be more apt to help. Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> the bad news is <laughs> God is just. And God, he speaks through many uh, avenues and methods, not only through his Bible. Mm -hmm. There are people uh, who do not have the Bible, but God is communicating his uh, mind, his, act, his will, and his uh, compassion. Either we will obey or we will disobey. Mm -hmm. If we obey, good news. If we dis disobey, then there will be bad news. Mm -hmm. um, maybe um, three quarters of the, of the population we are disobeying, especially from the church. Mm -hmm. But God will deal with those who are against him. And then there's a final verse that I'd like you to comment on as we run out of time, as mm -hmm. usual. It's that uh, Jesus said, sell your possessions and give to the poor, for where your treasure is there, your heart will, also, will be also. Mm -hmm. um, this is maybe uh, a call to action mm -hmm. yes. for many of us. Right, yes. Any final comments on that? Um, he said, treasure. So the question is, where is my treasure? Mm -hmm. If my treasure is, even in, the, in ABN, if my treasure, if all th what I think uh, is ABN to expand it, to make it bigger, wider, then really that's where will be my heart. But if my treasure is in the kingdom of God and helping the people and getting millions from hell and bring them, bringing them to God, then there will be my heart. So the question is, where is my treasure? And God says, I don't want you to save any treasures here on earth because all is temporary. All is. And that's why Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all these things will be given to you or added to you. Very good summary. Thank you. Uh, for joining me and thank you to our audience for joining us. How should we respond to global poverty and hunger?